What's up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're at Blade Show, baby. <laughs> We are at Blade Show right now, and uh, it's a little crazy, as you might see. We are looking for balisongs. There's a lot of there's a lot of like kitchen type knives. Excuse me, sir. How did you get to Blade Show? He didn't want to talk today. All right, guys. So we're on the way to something very special. Today we are on the way to the Balasong Flipping Competition here at Blade Show East. This is gonna be a very good time. On the road again. I'm I, think that, I think that song is copyrighted. That's probably, probably shouldn't sing that. Blade Show Bally Comp 2021, baby. Comp 2021. Uh, what's up, Joff? How you doing? I'm doing swell. You feel like a winner? I'd say so. That was some incredible flipping that you pulled out there. That was some, you, you could tell it was very, very intense. How did you feel? Uh, very nervous. I was literally shaking the whole time. Awesome. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good time. You as well. All right. What's up, number two? How you doing? What's up, Will? I'm doing great. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm here, to be honest. But you know what? My mom's going to be proud of me, and that's all that matters. You know, that is all that matters. You did a great job out there. That was some incredible flipping. I'm sure that's going to show up on whatever YouTube channel they're posting this on. So uh, how do you feel about it? I am very excited for that. Most of my content's very different. I go around the world. I flip with, you know, people in Australia and England and Hong Kong. So this level of interaction with the community where it's more like performance based as opposed to just content based is really like, I don't even know how to feel about it. I'm so nervous right now. Well, cause it's, it's very interesting and different cause it's all live and extremely like, you know, it's very intense. You've got so many eyes on you. So it's, it's a different animal. No, it, it absolutely is. I, I'm surprised I made it past Seiji and I'm surprised I made it past Noah, but I honestly, I don't even know how to feel. I'm genuinely so like, I, I don't believe this. Look, man, you were killing it. You just have that kind of performance bug that once you get going, you can see it and it's it's fantastic. Everybody, follow Clockwork. My Instagram is Clockwork Flips and my YouTube is Zenith Productions. We've been making a few battle song videos now. We did a vlog in ICCE, the Blade Show South, and we're gonna put out some other content, maybe a film. Oh, a film. Yes. This man's got some intense projects coming up and I'm extremely excited for it. So thank you, dude. Appreciate it, thank you. Can you give me some chain sound, please? What's up guys, what, what, uh, we're going up an escalator right now and it's gonna be very good. We're gonna go interview at least one person. Hey Jerry, how you doing? How's it going? Doing, uh, doing great. It's uh, Saturday at the Blade Show, and um, you know we said the Valley Comp and everything. So I guess the show's kind of winding down at this point. It is a bit on the downswing. What do you, what do you got going on over here? This is a, it's a pretty exciting Blade Show because we had two, two product announcements. Everyone's been bugging us for channel, channel knives. So we had just not one, but two of them. So two brand new channel knives, huh? Yeah, two brand new channel knives. One's production. One's going to be uh, on the custom mid tech side. And so you've got what? It's the I Basilisk. Yeah, so it's going to be a titanium basilisk, but then it's. Uh, We've revised the blade to kind of be, uh, the I basil stands for inverted basilisk because this is the original blade but flipped upside down and then retweaked. So I like the design changes you've made here, specifically with making the tip stronger. The basilisk, while the tip may have been weak, it still looks really good. And the new design also looks really good. It is a bitchin' tip design. So yeah, like you're saying, um, if it's a basilisk, it's got to have a bitchin' blade design. And so to keep the balance the same, I thin the blade stock down from 156 down to 140. Um, so that way, you know, you still get good balance. It's going to be a little bit different, but um, it's going to be good. And the other one is the Tyrannus, or Tyrannus? Yeah, Tyrannus, and this is a uh, Ballet Ballistic Sean Grayson in Canada. He does amazing work. Um, you, know, you can see, won't be cheap, of course, you know, for the collectors and all, but um, 
Yeah, but we've got two, something for everyone. Yeah, in general, the, the challenge is that all, all people have their own preferences. Everyone has a different opinion. So how do you create the perfect knife for many different opinions? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably have this with the latch, and then as well as a latchless version where the weight gets pushed further towards the rear. S tier, remember S tier. Just a random aside here, but I just, I love that you're also not afraid to do stuff that people might think is silly or stuff that people like, you're not afraid to take a chance and just have fun with your product. Like with, for instance, the full gold one here. That's, I love that. I want to build stuff that people want, things that I want to see myself. Uh, that comes first and foremost. It's not just, you know, filler knives. There's no filler knives. Everything is purposely made. No, and I love I love that level of creativity. I love that level of design. So yeah, this is this is awesome to see and I'm so happy you're here at Blade 2021. So yeah, thank I'm you again. See you again as well. Oh, hey, it's Psycho. <laughs> hey, so, so what, are, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm buying some uh, Mosaic Damascus. And, and who are you? I'm Psycho Blade Works. I'm a small time knife maker trying to, for now, custom, but you know, moving into mid-tech maybe, um, Maybe production. You're making some really, really sick stuff, though. I saw what you had yesterday. That was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's um, this is the one that I'm kind of brought here. It's my uh, my new design, the Hysteria. It's just sort of a mid-tech sandwich bushing. I'm doing I'm doing stuff with a lot of different uh, smaller makers. A lot of different guys do blades. Different guys do handles. You know, Revenge of the Blades, uh, Turbo, Jackalope. If you know him. Yeah. Again, all the little guys just you know coming together and making really unique, different stuff. Yeah, dude, that's totally sick. Well, thank you so much. Is this is this your first time being at Blade Show or have you been here before? It's my first Blade Show. Really? So the 2021 is your first Blade Show? It is, and definitely not my last. That's good. You having a good time? Oh yeah, I'm loving this place. So have you been, is that the main thing you've been flipping right now? Uh, this is, uh, I got some other stuff too. I got an ELB Pro Flipper that I'm playing around with. Uh, my Alpha Beast, obviously. Very sick. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Well, it was good meeting you. Good meeting you too. <laughs> I, I am having a great time. How are you doing? You're lying. That is, that's true, I am lying. Hey, Dylan, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I did mess up your name again, didn't I? You said Dalen, right? I, I, no, I said Dylan, 100%, I fucked it up. It's close enough. So, uh, how, how are you guys doing today? You all, you all having a fun time at Blade Show? Oh, yeah. It's a little warm, but it was definitely worth a 13 hour drive. 13 hour drive? Where'd you come from? In Illinois, basically Wisconsin. That is a fun time. Did anyone else drive here? No, I took a red eye flight last night. I got in this morning at 6.30. Oh my God. How's, how's the Marin business been going? Very well. We shipped out 50 knives this week. 50 this week? Oh yeah. Wow, okay, that's great. Holy cow. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been good. You prefer the Marin light? Yes. I think the heavy one is just a little too heavy. Like I have to work a little too hard to flip it. Where the light, I can just sit there and flip it, and it's just enjoyable. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I um, with me the, uh, I had I, I had both, and the Marin light. I don't know. It just like it reminds me of a 4X almost in the way that it's like effortless. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's good. I brought two production ones with me. Oh man. So you can actually see the differences from the uh, prototypes. Dude, there, are, there is no structure to this. There is no structure to this. How do you, how, how are you doing today? Pretty good. I actually, I finally made my first Blade Show purchase. Got a Maelstrom. Really? So you went straight for the top, huh? Yep. Wow! <laughs> Dear God! You, you, you saw it here first, folks. You saw the man's soul exit his body. How are you feeling now that your soul is gone? Every one of my knives will hit concrete. Everything is a beater. Tip. The tip is fine, as a matter of fact. I'll beat my knives, you can beat your own. I'll beat my knives and you can beat up. Oh, hey man, how you doing? What's up, man? I, I hate you, man. Hey, I hate I hate me too. Yeah. What are, you, what are you flipping today? What do you got? The Atropos. Oh, whoa, an Atropos. I just got it sharpened at the work sharp. Dude, that thing is dope, holy cow. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, those brass weights in the end. So is it aluminum with brass weights? Yeah. Mind if I try it? Yeah, I don't mind. Oh, man. And I'm sure it's, it is sharp as fuck now, huh? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's probably one of my, like, my favorite flipper right now. I can see why. Like, yeah, this is, this is dope. It's a good balance to it. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you. <laughs> okay. we're, we're just being chaotic today. We're having Bye, fun. Dad. Bye, Dad. I'll see you at the pit. Okay, bye. Bye, bye son. Oh, I love you. I love you, too. Oh, that's so cute. Don't get lost in the... Yeah, yeah bye. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> In, here we go. We're gonna talk to BRS now. So the BRS booth is one of the places at Blade Show where it is popping off. Hi guys, how you doing? The BRS booth always has 
a bunch of flippers. They have a bunch of space for people to flip at. So it's a really, really good spot for the community. So let's talk to some people. What's up, man? How you doing? What's up? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. This has been such a fun show. I'm, I'm also exhausted and dehydrated because I've been wearing this jacket and uh, it, Dude, was it was hot outside. Hot. It was rough. So what, what are you carrying right now? I'm carrying my BRS Select Rep. Oh, you're a man after my own heart with the orange right there. Yes, sir. It's uh, my second favorite select after my green. Oh, yeah. The green select is beautiful, yep. too. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll own every one one day, but Isaac's beat me to it. Yeah. So I got I to force that uh, crimson one out of him. Joff, how you doing? Doing swell. You know, took the belt from Corbin. Both of you were doing just such a sick job at the ballet comp. Like, I was having a great time. I was just trying to be clean, and then Joff comes in here throwing crazy shit. And oh, like, of course. Right. Well, I'm, I'm out. What are, you, what are you flipping right now, Joff? Got the Bowie Crake Raking. Is this, is this what you were flipping uh, at the thing? Yeah, I, I wanted to do the Tsunami, but I think I'm more consistent with the Kraken. So is it Crake Raking or Cracker Racking? I have no clue. Or is it just whatever you want? Kraken. I like the name Kraken better. It's the Kraken. No, listen to this. I, this is my idea for the name. Because you know how people say, what's crack a Okay. See, that's good. That's good. I remember when the Kraken first came out, they're just like, what's Kraken? Take it to Lucas, boys. Take it to Lucas. It has to be changed. Yeah, you feel you feel good about that ASMR? Oh, yeah. How are you doing, man? Doing well, how are you? I'm doing good, so what do you got going on right now? So uh, I have a couple new products going on here at BRS. We have our aluminum channel bare bones. That we're really, aluminum channel bare bones. Hey, would you like to see it? I would love to see it, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, um, people have been pretty stoked on it. Um, I know Squid has like their, uh, you know, Crake Rakens and Talisong and Plytanium just came out with their channel. Uh, Aluminum Valley, so it's kind of like the, a trend, if you'll say. But, oh, it, I, I definitely say it's a trend, but so, I feel it's a good trend. Right. I mean, people seem to like it, so let's make it. We're also working on trainer blades for the Rep and the Alpha Beast as well. Replicant trainer. People have been buying aftermarket, you know, trainer blades. Why not provide the, the product directly, you know? How, how would you say they uh, compare balance-wise and feel-wise? Oh, to the original? I'd say they're, they're pretty good. Um, maybe a little bit neutral, which is interesting. Yeah, I think they flip pretty close to the actual live blade versions pretty well. We also have our Nexus prototype, which I'll have to find. The Nexus. All right, what do we got? So we have our Nexus prototype as well. You know, sandwich construction rather than channel. We're hoping to have it around like sub 200 mark. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be kind of like the new budget version to kind of replace the bare bones there. And do you uh, mind if I see it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so hardware, we're hoping to you know stick in your standard T10, so you'll be able to use the same tool to uh, adjust the pivots on all our other knives. Uh, we just stuck in those slots there to kind of just mess with it during blade show. It's a very rough prototype. Yeah. Will it, will it be on uh, bearings or bushings? It's just going to be uh, washer design. It's not going to have bushings or bearings. Uh, just kind of keep that price down low, but something you can flip and have a BRS name on it. My, my biggest complaint with the bare bones isn't necessarily the the uh, pivot design. It was just the weight and the, yeah, the, like the, the balance. balance of it. There's also a lot of customizability that was like a big thing with the bare bones. All of the aftermarket products made it a good investment in the end. So this this, this is a, co a cool thing to see because I have a feeling you could probably find similar stuff happening with it. And uh, I got to say, this is much closer to an Alpha Beast experience than the Bare Bones is. And uh, another thing with it being like aluminum rather than stainless steel like the Bare Bones, like from the factory, we'll be able to anodize these if, as, a, as an option eventually down the road. Oh, really? So you'll be able to offer colors? Yeah, totally. That's awesome. Well, thank you, dude. This is, this is awesome. I wish it was tighter for you. Yeah, well, you know, that's how it is. All right, man, how's it going? All right, man, how are you? I'm doing very well. What in the world is this? This is uh, Repzilla. Repzilla. Yeah. Two years ago, we did uh, Alfie, which was the giant uh, Alpha Beast. And I remember that. That was a good time. Yeah, so they asked me to make a replicant, and this is what I came up with. Dude, so. fantastic job. You mind if I hold it? Yeah, no, for sure. And it's completely functional. Oh, so. no way. It closes. And Dude. This is huge. I feel powerful holding this. Nice, yeah. That, yeah. It's definitely a confident booster. They, this will give you confidence in like any scenario, yeah, I for think. Sure. This is, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I see I see I've got Spencer and Eldon over here with Flytanium and Eldon Tally. How you guys doing? Excellent. The day's gone really well. Yeah, we we've sold quite a few of the 
Talazong Z. Everyone seems to be excited. Feedback seems to be great. So, so I noticed, Eldon, you had you had a, a number of things here earlier. Those are now gone. Did those go away? Yes, I have some with me. A few. Eldon's got goodies. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Damasteel. So this is a double edge Chris Damasteel Talisong. This thing is. You could flip it. I wouldn't suggest it if you're not used to double-edged knives because it'll cut the crap out of you, won't it? Yes, it will. I, I like that you uh, did for the Talisong trainer idea. I love that it's a Chris blade. Yeah, it's a bit striking and uh, unique. What do we got going on over here? I mean, the big thing is obviously the Talisong. So Eldon's close. Uh, we worked with him to just do a production of, of his classic knife. It's his first production knife. It's our first production knife. It kind of just really came together nicely. A marriage uh, made in heaven. It really is. It's, it's perfect. But the goal is to really make it readily available. Uh, so we'll have it at our place and other retailers as well. Oh, so you want this to be like a stock production thing that's always available. We don't want people to have to wait to flip a knife. They shouldn't have to wait a few months to get it. That's the goal, 100%. We didn't want to have kind of the, the drop culture with, with the, the Talisong. We want it to be there for everybody, whatever they want. Hey Julian, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Will? I'm doing very well. This has been quite the blade show, huh? I know it's been it's been good seeing everybody. So what what have you got going on here? I know I know it's kind of the end of the show, so you're running out of stuff. Well, but I got a few hand ground knives that you could look at. Um, they are the last ones here, and they're sold. But I gotta ship them back with me to Colorado, and then I'll be able to send them to their respective cribs. That's exciting. <laughs> so. Justin, do you want to participate in the interview? How are you doing today, man? Great, Will. Thanks for having us. What, what are you flipping right now? This is my new one, the Solo, Hanson Metals. The milled compound 3D um, grind oh, there with the hollow. Grind, yeah. And then, yeah, we went with the sandwich with this one instead of the uh, channel, but yeah. Obviously, you got a light tech here. You got the Orca going on, I know. Here's the trainer. It's oh, kind of yeah. an interesting deal with, uh, you know, G10 slapping into titanium with the pin, pinless design. Um, and yeah, put it through the paces and it's held up strong. And I'm just, I'm really happy about this and gonna be making a fair amount of them. So I, I've um, been, I've been kind of, uh, I, I, I don't know. I've been concerned about yeah. this. Do you mind if I try it? Yeah, of course. Okay, that's weirdly good. My expectations were relatively low, I'm gonna be entirely honest. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's it's essentially plastic and titanium, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know, it's 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 shocking, it's way better balanced than I would have expected. I'm sure you've heard this this comparison before, but this kind of feels like a like premium squiddy. Yeah, I'll take it. I, it, it, it. It's got a good enough flippable balance that I'm like, it genuinely does feel good. Wow, okay, cool. You're good. <laughs> Thank you. No, you're, I, actually, just, unrelated you're flipping i have loved watching you grow yeah, as a you're flipper the man. you're the man Appreciate oh my god because you 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 started out you know obviously you just were interested in balisong yeah but you weren't a flipper at the right, time right 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 so watching you go from like you know you 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 would show off the knife and just kind of like do an open or whatever and then it yeah. that was it and now watching you like oh my god you, you've grown so much so yeah Ooh yes so this is this is say again what is it solo the solo oh man that's that's kind of sexy. It's very square, I will say. I like I, I like I like how square it is I don't though. Like full round because I lose control, but I like large chamfers on handles. I, I think there's a lot of different preferences out there where people like square, people like round, and I'm I'm down with whatever at this point. <laughs> yeah, whatever yeah, feels right. You know? Yeah, in my collection, I try to have a bunch of different shit, yeah, and that's awesome. the whole purpose. Is because like you know I want stuff that's all gonna feel different. I, I am so happy to be here because like the culture, the community, it's so nice to see it in full swing and it happening again. Like having the time without the Balasong community has sucked. It has. 
feels yeah. like it's still been grown at least even through COVID. I so, know. You know oh, yeah, 100%. It seems here. like people got bored and they just needed to flip the whole time. So. Yeah, stress reliever, yeah. you know? No, 100%. And that's what makes me happy that it's like such a big community event like this. Because like, I don't know, it's just something for everybody, really. Yeah, totally. Like, especially with, with companies like Squid making like, you know, the Squiddy and stuff. You've got stuff for like literal kids. Everybody up to you know you have beautiful pieces like you guys have for like collectors and stuff so and you see yeah. their timascus knives the, the ones they dropped today. Oh my god, those are gorgeous. They're super cool. So they're getting into the custom realm and it's just, it's a big melting pot of awesome, bro. Yeah. Good direction. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julian. Appreciate oh, yeah. you. Thanks for coming by. Thank yeah. you, Joe. Thanks. All right, man, Brandon said you had something for me. How did you get to Blade Show today? How did oh. you, no, how did you get into Blade Show today? Okay, that's a good. Yeah, how did, how did you get into Blade Show today? Well, sir, it happens that I dropped my bracelet. So it happens, though, that I found a 2,000 grit sanding belt and a Band-Aid. Is that the right color? Uh, it is the correct color. Got to get a 2,000 grit sanding belt, and then you can get into Blade Show, baby. Yeah. Why did you do that? Because I lost my $55 three-day pass. Yeah, this is your alternative to the pass. Yeah, to eating a single piece of bread for dinner tonight. Poor Balasong flippers. Yeah, poor Balasong flippers, they spent all their money on their knives. I know, you can't eat G10, right? No, you can't eat G10, unfortunately. You also can't eat sanding paper, so. Oh, no. uh, I can try. You could try. I it, need a new it, filling. It'd maybe make your teeth uh, prettier. Huh? You grind off the top layer and then it's nice and white underneath. What are you saying, man? <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me. Is this, is this one of them? Did this one fall huh? out? Yes. Yeah, I was actually a wild cat in a previous life. <laughs> me too, buddy, me too. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Will? I'm doing very good. Are you a, are you a patron? I am a patron. Wow. The Will Hirsch Discord server, or just the channel in general, really. That's patreon.com forward slash the Will Hirsch. Once again, patreon.com forward slash the Will Hirsch. Give me money. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I put some <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Is this your first Blade show? First Blade show, yes. Where'd you travel from? Uh, I came from Michigan. Okay. What are you flipping? Fine. Uh, the Lucha that you inevitably hurt my wallet with. You did this to me. I spent like 350 on this thing. <laughs> you and how do you like it? I love it actually. Was it was it a worthy uh, worthy impact on your wallet? It definitely got me back into flipping with the stock one. And then when I got the titanium handles, I couldn't have been happier. I flipped it a bit yesterday. I really like those titanium handles. Yeah, Bali Song or at Bali Song did the anodization and I think it turned out great. Well, cool. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for being a patron. Thank you. Excuse me, sitting individual, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, sir, how are you? I'm doing wonderful as well. What are you flipping right now? I'm flipping uh, it's called the UV G10 Bass. UV G10, what does that mean? So when you shine a UV light on it, it's like glows, it's like iridescent blue, it's pretty sick. Really? I, I wish I had a UV light to show it off. But no, I'm, that sounds dope I'm though. I go to Jerry's booth for that. You, you pulled the latch off that thing a minute ago, I saw it, how, why, why'd you do that? It indeed, I, I don't like how it makes the bite handle heavier. And I hate the way it sounds, so uh... Gotta get rid of that latch, man. Oh, we have a UV light! You got a UV light? No way. Let's turn that thing on. Can we, get a, can we get a shot? Look at that. That is actually really Ooh. sexy. Pretty sick, right? Well, yeah, it goes from like a, like, a, like a navy to like a bright blue. Yeah, really, really weird. Dude, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. 100%, man. Thank you. How you doing, man? What's up? Oh, I'm doing excellent. So fun to be at Blade Show. Yeah, is this your first Blade Show? It is. What do you think of it? It's just really fun to just meet other flippers and creators, having a good time. So what are you what are you flipping today? What you got? Uh, I actually just picked up a Blade Runner Systems Alpha Beast, so that's pretty good. And then I got a Jimby Design Sentinel, and then a good old Kraken. That's fantastic. That's good stuff. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, dude. All right, have a good day. So I'm here with Revenge of the Blades. How are you doing, man? Doing good. You have been doing incredible stuff, man. So I, I, I've been watching kind of what you've been up to since the beginning, and it's been really impressive to watch you go from like the stuff you were making originally obviously it was very rough but yeah. at the same time you could see there was a vision there and it's been incredible to watch you go from making these like more rough more experimental pieces to the stuff you're making now is like it is <laughs> fire it is so good Thank everything you. the clean lines all of your grinds are incredible so yeah really Thank you really so good much. job i'd love to see the growth happen like that yeah i do plan definitely on doing full customs once I'm out of college, I have so much more time. So you've got it. You've got a direction kind of worked out, I think. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm very happy to see it because we're we're in a Balasong Renaissance for sure. We've got more and more makers making more and more awesome stuff, and so seeing more people like you getting into that, it just makes me happier every day. Yeah, I've got to meet uh, a bunch of other makers too that I've talked to forever. I met Psycho Bladeworks yesterday, and me and him are doing a collab with Blades. I met uh, Machine Wise. 
I got to meet Lucas and Ham, and it's cool to see all the makers that I've talked to for so long. That's the big magic about Blade Show, is that everybody is here, and everybody is super friendly. Like, th this is why I like the Balasong communities, because we all get together, and everybody talks to each other like we're like family or friends that have known yeah. each other for forever. It's awesome. Definitely. I've had so many people come up to me, just super friendly. Everybody gets along, we just hang out, it's fun. Blade Show, baby. Hey, everybody, how y'all doing? Good, good. So you guys, you guys are chilling down here, and I noticed something that's very common to kind of the Balasong community is this vibe where everybody's got their pelicans out, everybody's kind of sitting around and flipping. How are you guys enjoying Blade Show? I think the best part about this is this right here. The best part is being able to talk to other people that you have never met before, like you've known them your entire life. It's super cool, and it's really nice to see with the community. How are you having a good time, man? Oh, same as every year. I love to bring it. I bring everything I have and let people try it out. I love to see everybody's collections laid out like this. They're, it's always beautiful, and it's amazing coming to Blade Show like this because there are knives that I'd never even considered being able to touch. What is this? This is his. Doesn't it doesn't have, have a name. It doesn't have a name. The guy's only made two of them so far. So, like, stuff like this where you find just the rarest, most random things that you'd never expect to get your hands on. People have them and people have them laid out in their Pelican cases for everybody to flip. And it's it's really, really cool and important thing to the community. Dude, that is gorgeous, man. When did you get this? I got that a few years back, uh, GP Blades. He likes to sculpt when he makes his knives. He adds little details. He makes things weird. Do you think this would be good for ladders? <laughs> Yeah, lots of insane stuff, custom stuff. I mean, it is it is incredible what you'll find here at Blade Show 2021. Let's move on. Hey guys, what's up? Hey. <laughs> I saw that you were eating, so I decided to come assault you. Thank you. Just finished. So oh, okay, perfect. How you doing? Pretty good. Dude, this is you. You've got some great stuff going on over here, huh? Yeah, today's turnout has been really great for us. I've sold a few more sapiens today and a few customs. So well, I remember yesterday the sapiens. This whole thing was full, right? Yeah, plus so I can fit 11 on here, and I had I brought 19, so I had eight extras. Now it now I got seven left. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, the the sapiens. I've been really impressed with all the ones I flipped so far. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of flippers seem to like it for its its neutral balance and lightweight. Yeah, this this thing is really impressive. Like the 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 balance, the roundness of the handles, how light it is. I'm I would love to do a review on this in the near future. Well, pick one up and you got your own to do a review on. I think my wallet will cry, but I think it'll be worth it. Yeah, it's easy to spend a lot of money here. I mean, that's kind of the nature of Blade Show though. There's just so much stuff and so many cool things to buy. I mean, why wouldn't you? Right, goes quick. It, it does go quick. So you've got your customs over here as well, right? Yeah, I still got quite a few left. Any particular favorites? Uh, I like this one. Oh my God. Gold handles, damascus steel is my favorite steel to work with. Uh, this is my favorite pattern. What pattern is it? Uh, Bifrost. It looks more random. Yeah, and this has, it's latchless, it's on bushings, it's got blackened floating spacers. I love the look of the floating spacers. Yeah, your, your selection of custom knives are always incredible, so I'm, it, it's always really nice to see you here. So yeah, this is, this is awesome, thank you. Yeah, thank you. How you guys doing? Good. So you guys have come up with some new stuff recently. Yeah, so Harlan has been working on these crazy bally swords. He's calling them mega songs. And this is really all Harlan doing all this stuff. This looks like insanity. Yeah, they're pretty wild. It's it's everything you'd expect out of a regular bally song. You've got full tie handles. Uh, these are running on bushings, believe it or not. It's a totally different beast to tune something this big, but you know, just trying to avoid the, the tip hitting, you know, tap. Oh, this is a legit machete. <laughs> Wow! So what's the price on these guys? About a grand? That's not bad for what it is. I'm gonna leave that there so I don't cut my hands off. So you guys having a good, you having a good blade show? Yeah, it's going well. Yeah, I, I brought uh, five planarians with me. Yeah, I heard they sold out real quick. Yeah, they sold out yesterday. There's This one left is up for auction. It's the last one I got. I don't know if anybody remembers the uh, the planarian prototype. It was a prototype that we had, correct? Yep. It's a. Uh, it was actually just the very first of these newer models, and this is the one you had. Look at that, full circle. This full is the circle. this is the Planarian. You want to walk me through any differences here? Oh, the main differences with these is um, this one's definitely a little lighter. The prototype was just like a touch too heavy, so I kind of shoot to make them all between 4.6 and 4.8 ounces. Yeah. But the handles are the same style. So just like the chamfer with the orange peel texture over it. Yeah, I love the orange peel. It's a really good texture. Yeah, did, did you get to check this out? I have not. Oh my God. You guys have to listen to this. One second. Yeah. 
Rawl. I, I really, really like the sound of this knife. Thanks, dude. Is that is that something intentional or is that just something that happened? So yeah, trade secret. Uh, I did not plan that at all. As I said in my review, I really, really like those things. So yeah, freaking fantastic job, Will. Thank you very much. Yeah, dude. And thanks for doing that review. That was great. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. I hope you have a good blade show and I'll see you around, man. It was great seeing you. All right, what's up? Captain American, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good. <laughs> how many Blade shows have you been to? So I've been to Blade West. Basically, this is my second Blade, so. Oh, really? So this is your first Blade show on the east side? Yes. That's so awesome. Yeah, so Captain American here makes some incredible stuff. He's been making ballast on content for like longer than I've ever been around. You've been making some dope shit and I really like it. Thank you, thank you. That's really nice of you. Yeah. you wanna, would you wanna show off a flip? I have a cracker Akin. Yeah, sure. Let me, let me let me let me reach into my depths here. There you are. Mind you, I'm a little rusty, so. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm terrible myself. No, 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 no. Oh, dude. What? Ooh. Fuck do you mean a little rusty? Oh. Get out of here. Yeah. Get uh, out of here. I'm not even practicing as much. Hey man, thank you yeah. so much. It's wonderful meeting yeah, you. you too. This thank is you. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Blade Show 2021. <laughs>
a lot of trial and error. As you guys know, like we don't typically work with these materials. And so you've got some extra stuff right here. I noticed the prototype uh, carbon fiber guy. Here in our prototype department, our first guy here is gonna be the carbon fiber Nautilus. This is pretty much just the same thing as a standard Nautilus, except with just carbon fiber scales. I brought this here so that people could take a look at it and see how it felt balance-wise. It's pretty similar to G10, but obviously slightly different because the carbon fiber is a little bit less dense. I like that. Now, now what's above it, that's pretty interesting to me. What is that guy? We'll get to that to the end here. Okay, so we're saving the best for last. That's right. So here we've got two Kraken prototypes. The main difference with these, is that we've added an additional milling line. We've added kind of like this fuller on the side. A lot of people have mentioned that it can be kind of slippery in this area so that it, it digs into your fingers a little bit more when you're doing certain tricks like twirling. Alrighty, so we've got the Hydro, of course. This is gonna be kind of like a mid-tier titanium ballast song, kind of aimed at the mid 300s range. After we made the Tsunami, which is obviously in quite a high range, we wanted something in more of an appropriate ballpark with the other production knives, right? Really the general thing for the Hydro is that it's just supposed to be a high performance flipper. That's awesome stuff. Do you mind if I flip one real quick? Yeah, go ahead. I like how light and fast it is. You know, we really try to nail that every time, obviously to make it the best flipping experience possible. So, All right, so what else we got? We've got the Tsunami here. This is our demo model here on the floor. They went pretty fast, so I'm glad to still have this one. And it's already taken as well. He's gonna come by tomorrow. And uh, this is really our take on, you know, the, probably the best balance on that we could make. Uh, I, I really try to add in all the features that I could think of, you know, textured handles, rounding. We have a dual taper in both width and in thickness. And we added a bunch of more details too that I think are kind of hard to appreciate. So this know. has got some really intense machining going on. Yeah, that's right. The bevel is here machined with this really, really fine 45 degree lines here. And that's something that we spent extra time to get absolutely perfect. One small hidden feature here too is that inside the actual Tsunami is three holes here that actually hold a Zen pin. And the main purpose for that is that we wanted to give users the ability to change the balance by making it more handle biased if they feel like you know it doesn't suit their preferences. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Lucas. This has been fantastic. I, you guys' booth is always a pleasure. So yeah, yeah thank great. you very much. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, have a great time having you here, Will. And uh, yeah, hopefully catch you in the next one. So Lucas, when did you first become a god of flipping? Uh, honestly, like yesterday, man. <laughs>